Hey guys, uh, this is Belief It or Not. Um, Belief It or Not, we're not experts. Not even close. And most of uh, what I'm doing here is just asking questions. So, sorry. Yeah, so you can ask your own questions, look into it further, and uh, just have some fun with us. Yeah, and uh, sometimes we say bad potty words, so sorry. I got him, sir. Get him while they're home. It's fresh from God's brain to your mouth. He's got here in this radio station. Smite me! Oh, mighty smite! The Bible is black and white. I have s such doubts. Get out of here, devil! I'm a god, not the god. I don't think. And you will know my name is the Lord! We're on a mission from God. Hey everybody, welcome to Believe It or Not. That's right, the show where we believe it or... Don't. Oh, we don't. Uh, we, so don't have a we don't have a tagline. That's a, a new new tagline. Uh, tagline contest. Uh, yeah. Hit us up on Twitter. Yeah. Email your taglines to our Twitter account. Uh, call your congressman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I'm Trevor Pullman. And I'm Damian Depping. Uh, today, uh, we're going to... Yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. Yeah, what are we talking about today, uh, Trevor? Today, okay, so it w if I were to say the term... Jesus people. Okay, yeah. Well, what does that mean to you? Uh, I would think, like... Those people who are who are so like just that's all it is. It's just Jesus. That's the, the, that's the main thing. What if I said the term uh, Jesus freaks? Uh, I would. I I don't know how to differentiate the answer from that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, uh, or the Jesus movement. It's all kind of the same idea. So okay. those are the three kind of names that this that is, this is that had. is that kind of like a. a an emphasis on Jesus within the faith kind of thing? or is... Sort of, yeah, uh, but not really, but sort of. All right. Jesus freaks is a common term. It was like kind of used to make fun of them, and then they, they kind of just took it as their own, like, hey, mm -hmm. we're going to go with this. Um, but the they Jesus movement is... appropriated it. Yeah. Yeah, like the Edward. <laughs> like the Edward, exactly. Well, that's fun. Uh, today we're going to actually get into some flower power, some hippies. Okay, so... so... The... The Jesus freaks are like the hippy dippy. Yeah, ones. so they're oh, okay. they're the hippies. So they're the it was the the Jesus hippie movement of the okay. late sixties, early seventies. All right, so yeah. that's more of the more of the like uh, passiveness and yeah. things. Okay, yeah. yeah. Cover of Time magazine, nineteen seventy one picture of Jesus, and it said I think the Jesus Revolution or something like that, and it was a story about these hippies in San Francisco. Uh, that uh, would later be referred to as the Jesus Movement. Are you looking up the picture? I am looking yeah. up the picture. Jesus Time Magazine. Okay, so keep, keep continue, okay. please. Okay, yeah, so um, so do you know what the Summer of Love is? Uh, that was when everyone was being hippies and fucking and shit. No? Yeah, it, yeah, basically, everybody's <laughs> being hippies and fucking and shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hope nobody listening to this is... <laughs> kind of came in expecting it not to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I actually work uh, at a restaurant, um, as do you, but yeah. in mine it's near a uh, park where in the summer we get a lot of hippies. Yeah, I've uh, seen the drum circles. Yeah, it's the drum circle people. They yeah. come in and uh, they're annoying. Yeah. Um, they're, they're always talking about um, their hippie mm -hmm. bullshit. But uh, my favorite was I, I overheard one of them go, hey man, you know like a jellyfish? Okay, stay with me, man. Are you familiar with a jellyfish? <laughs> I was like, of course he's familiar with a jellyfish. <laughs> like, he was using it for his analogy, but... Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I was watching, actually, some videos the last couple of days of these yeah. Jesus Movement guys, and yeah, they're, like, just the classic hippies. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, so yeah, it started in the Summer of Love. A lot of people are coming to San Francisco. There's drugs, there's uh, hippies, it's... Uh, nobody has a place to stay. There's just this overcrowded group of people... Yeah. Uh, street preachers come in, start preaching to them, and some of them convert, and they start their own kind of movement within the hippies. So it's more charismatic. So that's where you yep. get your faith healing and you're you're speaking in tongues and, oh, and all okay. that so stuff. Okay, so that kind of came through that stuff. Too. Yeah, yeah. So all that right. really permeated that. Um, For something like that, I'm I'm really curious about what what some of like the demographics of those kind of people are like where they are coming from to kind of have that susceptibility. Yeah, and I think um, because a lot of them had gone through all the LSD and they had yeah. uh, done all that stuff and they were looking for something else. Spiritualism was really big, yeah. like the Age of Aquarius. Yeah. Um, astrology was big at the time too. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think yeah. I think part of like what I'm saying from my experience, a lot of people who I find still have those kind of things usually come from more affluent kind of backgrounds. Oh yeah, and, and it, like it's partially a rebellion towards that, but also a rejection of th- those kind of things. Yeah, way, too. So I'm I'm curious about what the what that would have been at the time. Too. Yeah. I, yeah, I know we, sure. we don't have answers. We just have questions. Yeah, exactly. That so, can, that'll be but, our that, that can be our tagline. Yeah, the big emphasis too on uh, millennialism, on lineal-ism? millennialism, oh, millennialism, millennialism, okay. um, and evangelism. But millennialism was one that I that kept popping up, and that's like uh, in the Bible it says that Christ is going to come back and um, rule the earth for a thousand years, and there'll be a thousand years of peace. Okay. Um, which to me sounds like it's like the hippy dippy version of um, kind of an end times idea. Yeah. Or rather than you go to heaven and live forever, it's just like oh, you only get a thousand years. But... Yeah. Yeah, and it's all here. It's kind of like because um, the like I said earlier, the age of Aquarius was a big thing with other hippies, mm-hmm. like the more like astrology so like if you're if you're more of a christian leaning you're yeah. you're gonna look for those kind of yeah kinda the, things the analogies towards it kind of thing yeah and like all right peace on earth it's all gonna happen and yeah. a lot of communes so um yeah so it started different communes kind of across the u.s it started yeah. branched out from san francisco and that was really the the main yeah point i, at I first. don't think i could do communal living no me neither no, yeah couldn't. Have you ever been in a commune? No, I'm no. afraid. I, I barely like camping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed at a house once. I was just yeah. going across Canada and um, we kind of like networked and got like places mm-hmm. to stay. And one of them was technically in a commune, but they had their own house and it was oh, okay. like their own kitchen and stuff. They just kind of shared resources with everybody. Yeah. And I didn't really see anybody else in the commune. So that was kind of my only experience, but it just felt like I was staying at a, yeah. some grandparents house. Like it didn't really <laughs> feel like I was in a commune. That's so I right. probably didn't have, I didn't have like the wanderlust experience or anything. Yeah. Yeah. See, my thing is, is like, I, I'm fine with going to the store and just buying stuff and not having to <laughs> yeah, have, exactly. have like a meaningful <laughs> conversation with someone. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I feel. Like if, what happens if you like get pissed off at the guy who sells potatoes? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, if he gets pissed off at you. Then, yeah, I mean, no potato, no yeah. potatoes, or is it be like, I guess we're in the commune. Yeah, <laughs> some, potato. <laughs> some potato. No, they're probably like some big like you have to pray with them until oh, you're happy together. Uh, or that something. sounds horrible. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'd rather just hate him anonymously. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so so it started a lot of those kind of communes throughout yeah. the U.S. and everything. Was this primarily in the U.S. or was this primarily also... it, it did hit UK pretty UK big as too? Well. Um, kind of like over the years, like it's not really a movement anymore. Besides in Chicago, there's a, a church called Jesus People USA. Oh, um, really? So, yeah, so that one still <laughs> okay. exists. Uh, and I like think it still has a lot of members. Show, right? Yeah, <laughs> but it, what it did was it started a lot of other little denominations yeah. and stuff that kind of grew like have you ever heard of hillsong united no okay so um that has kind of its seeds in this and other things but it's the one of the bigger producers of like christian worship music okay and they sell cds and churches buy their stuff so that that's like kind of the music they use yeah um they have a big church in uh it started in australia actually um but they have a big church in new york city and guess oh. who's a member who Justin Bieber. Is he actually? Yeah. Really? <laughs> and he's like Instagramming with the pastor and stuff all the time and okay. they're chilling and hanging out. But okay. that kind of has its roots in there. And uh, it's wow. also the, so the Jesus movement is also kind of the reason that there's um, like guitar and drums and stuff like that in churches now instead of just organs. Okay. So they kind of, yeah. they kind of broke that sort of thing yeah I, mean, I guess at the time there was a whole bunch of different musical things happening yeah so. exactly and there was this is also what started christian rock a lot of this these... was the start of christian rock yeah so, so a lot of like the every and stuff. lyric of the week that we're going to be doing it, it's basically because of this. yeah exactly. all right so we we got to give them a little shout out yeah exactly shout out to the jesus movement thanks guys yeah um yeah, a lot of people, there was like, so when it started in San Francisco, there's like all these hippies converting and, mm-hmm. and stuff, and it uh, just gets buzz. Like I said, cover Time Magazine, lots of yeah. news programs are just talking about what is going on here. Um, and there's lots of, they would like baptize people like in the in the oh, bay. Like, all those like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They just yeah. take people out to the bay and baptize Yeah. Them. I, I feel that like, 
I don't know how I'd react if someone just says, like, we're going to baptize you in the yeah. way. <laughs> it'd, it'd be a very strange kind of experience, I yeah. think. Yeah. I was baptized in the St. Lawrence River as a teenager. Really? Yeah. What, the whole dunking. What and, was that about? Let's, I want to hear about this. Uh, it was a youth... Like my youth group that I was in at the time, the youth pastor decided she was a she was a bit of a hippie too, okay. <laughs> and she decided that we're gonna do a baptism service. Who and got volunteers kind of who wanted to be baptized, okay. and I was like, yeah, sure. Do it you was, ha- do you have to be baptized more than once or? Okay, so like freshen it up. <laughs> freshen it up, yeah. Um, basically, there was you know. In church history, there's probably a lot of executions because of this, but oh, so <laughs> so I was baptized as a baby yeah. by my, my parents, and then they converted to another, not converted, but they started going to different church that didn't believe in infant baptism, Okay, and they said that it doesn't count, so you gotta oh. be baptized when you're, you're smart enough to like make the yeah. decision yourself. I mean, I guess that's yeah fair, after you've been indoctrinated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. After you've been, yeah. And then it's just a big <laughs> spectacle to kind of draw you in more. Yeah, yeah. you can't you yeah. can't just, um, you know, make baptize a kid who doesn't doesn't know any better. You yeah. have to teach them when yeah. they don't know any better. That's why they should start circumcising babies when they're fifteen. Exactly, you should circumcise yourself when you're fifteen. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. True. <laughs> here's a scalpel. Figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, so like it was kind of in the church I went to. It wasn't you. You didn't have to get baptized, but it was kind of like. Everyone just did it. Like, yeah. yeah, you should probably do it. Oh, get so it if all your it. friends yeah. are smoking yeah. dope, you should smoke. Yeah. <laughs> or jumping off if bridges. all your friends are getting washed in the blood. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so yeah. That's, that's interesting. A uh, big book that they read was a book called The, the Great Planet Earth. Oh. Uh, the late co- great planet Earth? Yeah. So that's kind of an end times, the world's going to end in the okay. 80s kind of thing. Uh, it's a very like late 60s name, too. Yeah, it is. It'd be a good name. Well, I, what, they did make a movie out of it, but like if okay. that didn't exist as like a Jesus book, it would be yeah. a good like sci-fi movie, like yeah, late 60s. They live on yeah. the ship because the Earth is dead. Yeah. yeah. They, like they slowly pan away and talk about, <laughs> you know. But then they get kidnapped by Ant aliens or like oh, yeah. bug aliens or and something. then they just cool. reminisce about life on earth yeah yeah <laughs> it'd be pretty rad okay uh next project we work on is this all right <laughs> <laughs> um let's talk about some influential people okay in this movement so there was a guy by the name of chuck smith that's a fake name i know right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah chuck smith was um founder of this big church yeah called calvary chapel i think believe they're still around um, he decided he wanted to get, um, more involved in kind of this new, like, kind of hippie movement and wanted to find yeah. somebody who knew the culture more. So he asked his, uh, daughter if she knew anybody that, um, that he could meet, um, that is passionate about the Jesus movement and is passionate about, like, preaching and stuff like that. And he found this guy called, uh, Lonnie Frisbee. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, what? so I just blew past that name. His name is Lonnie Frisbee. <laughs> okay, I like how we we started with Chuck uh, Smith being the fake name. Yeah, and then we went to name Lonnie, Lonnie Frisbee. Frisbee of the Frisbee Fortune. I guess so. Big Frisbee. Yeah, Big Frisbee. Or was Frisbee just the name of the thing that, like, incidentally? Yeah, Frisbee. That was whammo! I didn't. Make yeah, because Frisbee was, uh, if I'm remembering Back to the Future Three right, Frisbee was the name of a pie plate company. That they it's threw. Yeah. yeah. So maybe he's the heir of the pie plate company. Was it Lisby, you said? Frisbee. Lonnie Frisbee. Lonnie Frisbee. Sorry. Yeah. I it was Lisby Frisbee. Frisbee. <laughs> Lonnie. I E or Y? Oh, there we go. I E, yeah. Okay, Lonnie Frisbee. Yeah, okay. there was a documentary actually about him that's really good. Seven Broken Men. He's oh, called no, no. The Hippie Preacher. The Life and Death of a Hippie Preacher? Yeah. Oh jeez. So he was a he was an interesting character. Um, do you know Catherine Kuhlman? No. Okay, Catherine. Oh, we're gonna have an episode about Catherine. Oh man, Kuhlman. I feel it's like most things you yeah. bring up, I'm not gonna know about. Okay. So, so Catherine Kuhlman was the faith healer. Like okay. she's like the one that started it mm-hmm. as like something that you can like reach million, like make millions yeah. with. <laughs> so she <laughs> had a small private make... practice. Yeah, exactly. 
She just went into hospitals and yeah. healed the sick in hospitals. Oh, made all yeah. the doctors feel bad. Yeah, exactly. They're like, why did we go to school? And she's like, no, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna charge people. I'm not gonna kill people into giving me lots of money. I, I have a gift from God. No, no, she, <laughs> 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 she filled stadiums and. Uh, yeah, uh, but she had a show for a while, and she brought him on, and that's kind of what okay uh, blew him up, mm-hmm. and he became like um, he you know did tours and really like went around preaching preaching about Jesus. And you saw a picture of him; he looks like yeah, he looks Jesus. like the classic hippy dippy yeah hair, super big beard yeah, uh, very very white guy Jesus yeah he. Yeah. Um, because it's Christianity mm-hmm. and it's the 20th century, um, he he was uh, anti-gay in his in his preaching, but he was twas a gay. Yeah. yeah, I saw it when, yeah. I, when I, the brief Google search twas a gay. Sorry, that. he was a gay man. I don't know why <laughs> I said twas a gay. <laughs> you gotta keep but, it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So he was a a gay man. He got married. Um, it was actually his wife who cheated on him with another pastor oh. and so they they divorced but um and then from then on like kind of while he was preaching he was also yeah. having kind and, of and then he moved s- sexual activities yeah <laughs> he moved pastor oh, hello i'm sorry <laughs> we can cut that out later no that's so in. so she cheated on him yeah and then he kind of just yeah i think he kind of just he didn't he said he called it a struggle yeah he said it was like he was struggling with this yeah. sin uh, I would say um, he was just a gay man, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it was it's sad that he was told. Him yeah, to exactly. Be that way. Yeah. yeah, and which um, is unfortunate. Yeah, and then he he died of AIDS in '93. Okay. Um, Chuck Smith, him, he remained friends with Chuck Smith. There was definitely a falling out with him, like in the ministry when it became public that that he had been yeah. sexually active. Um, yeah. But this guy did speak at his funeral. Um, to mixed reactions because um, he compared him to Samson uh, in the Bible, and he because Samson was a biblical hero, but he was also a womanizer and a okay um, a drunkard and a everything kind of thing. But he said so. His whole thing was that he he was a sinner who was used by God, and so people who knew him close were like, "That's kind of a." crappy way to send yeah, the guy Yeah, it's off. a very, very bad kind of, like... Yeah. <laughs> how, 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 like, minimizing of a person to yeah. say that kind of thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I, I'm sure to some people it's comforting, but, uh, yeah, to me it's just, oh, it's cringy. Which is another interesting thing, is that someone can take a comment like that and think of it as a comforting thing. Yeah. Like, oh, he was used by God. Yeah. But he was a sinner, so... Yeah. At least he had a purpose. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. Whereas if, you know... Who he was was embraced, then maybe yeah, maybe he would have lived a, mm. a, b- a better life and a less um, troubled struggle, struggling life. A less yeah, I don't know what the word is, but yeah, yes, less conflicted. Yeah, uh, something. Yeah. Um, let's see. We've gotten that frisbee fortune. Yeah, exactly. Um, Dwayne Peterson was another big one. He was a leader, and he's actually the one who um, is credited with coining the term Jesus what, people. What was his name? Dwayne Peterson. Dwayne Peterson. Okay. Um. Yeah. I don't. I didn't find a lot about him other than he wrote some books about it later on, mm-hmm. and um, he was just kind of in the group and was the first recorded person to have said Jesus people and Jesus movement, but he didn't, he says he didn't coin the term, so. Okay. Yeah. So he says he didn't, but everyone else says he did. Yeah, everyone, okay. everyone says he's the first one they heard use it. So we don't so. know who to believe. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like you said I could borrow your car. <laughs> no, I didn't. Well. Everyone else says you did. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else? Okay, yeah, so, um, Vineyard was another one, uh, the Vineyard Church. Mm-hmm. Um, is that a church in a vineyard? No, but, you know, oh. that would be nice, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to, kind of taking the names literally now. Yeah. Well, uh, one of the most famous vineyards is actually right here in Toronto. Um, and, uh, Lonnie Frisbee came and spoke at that one a lot. Oh, really? Um, I mean, it's no longer in that denomination because it, it just went on its own thing. They're the ones who, like, say that their teeth were replaced with gold teeth 
and wait, what? So there's this, a group of people who say that their teeth were replaced with gold teeth. Yeah, by God. For why? To, uh, as a sign that he will uh, provide for them financially. So there's someone in the city giving these people gold teeth. No, like a Muslim, like they, they don't. Actually their dentists have gold are teeth? like they looked at their records, like yeah, we put gold teeth in them years ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So they, just, so had, they, they thought, just had gold teeth. Yeah, and okay. like they, gold fillings. So they yeah. said that they were turning their fillings to gold. Um, and then the dentist would be like, no, they just had a gold filling. Like, okay, so this wasn't like they retroactively put it in and then told people, oh, guys, like, yeah. they already had the They already had them, but said, sometimes God. people don't know it's gold. And then, okay. yeah, it's, I don't know. I watched this documentary about some of the street preachers. One of the big ones was Arthur Blessett, and they used to go around with uh, a giant cross, um, carrying the cross down the street, and then oh, handing really? out stickers with that said Jesus, and then they would talk to people in the street. Okay. That was, like, one of the methods was, they used. Was street, I'm guessing because this is something that was a lot more uh, hippie, down to, down to earth, yeah. quote unquote. Yeah. Uh, street preaching, preacherism? Preachery? Yeah, street preachery was big. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. Uh, is that what we call it, street preachery? I think, so. yeah, I think you're going to call it street preachery. That was one of their, yeah, main things was evangelism, so getting it on mm-hmm. the street and, and talking to people about it and stuff. That's, a, that's another uh, very bizarre thing I find, is street preachers. I, I, I mean, I guess part of it is to proselytize and yeah. get the word out, but how... How many people actually listen to when when street? Because a lot of times they're just yelling or they're on mic, yeah, on a megaphone, and it's just like yeah. I don't want to talk to that guy. In this video, they they seem pretty passive about it. Like they yeah. would just try to start conversations with people, but they're still carrying a giant cross down the so, street. <laughs> so. The ones who I find the most passive are the. I, are the, I think it's the Latter Day Saints one. They have like the little stand. With the oh, little, that's the Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, the Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the one. Because they're always just like kind of standing there. Yeah, and, I think it's because. Um, a little more quiet. It's part of their main tenets that they have to proselytize with mm. people. And they have they used to go door to door, and I think they still do. Yeah. But there's a lot more restrictions on that now. Yeah. Well, I remember my dad telling me a story about them coming, and then he said the way you get them to stop is you answer the door naked. And then they don't come <laughs> in. But... Well, if it is the Latter-day Saints, my friend told me to be like, once they say, hey, we're from the Church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints, you go, oh, it's Latter-day it's a lottery! I gotta go to the hardware store and get myself one! <laughs> that works, too. Yeah. <laughs> they would tell people they, they get high on Jesus, because okay. uh, a lot of them were washed do, up. Do they get high on other things, too? No, they, they're really? supposed to be drug-free. I'm sure, I'm sure that was, wasn't always the case, yeah. but yeah. But part of it was trying to like move away from that. Yeah. So I guess probably another big part of this, again, is the time it was happening. It was a pushback towards that. Yeah. It was almost trying to clean up a movement that was happening. Yeah, I think so. And like um, very uh, like very much against like the f- uh, free love and mm. stuff like that too. Even in that that one video I was watching with the street preachers, like a lot of people they interviewed, they were like, um, you, you know, you, you can get it there and you can get your free sex and you can get your quote unquote free love, but it's not love. Like there's only one love and that's from yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's not free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, that was that was big. So it's like kind of in the culture, but it's yeah um, countercultural to a lot of it. Too. It's interesting to see kind of how a lot of these things are just reactions to other things that are yeah. happening. That yeah, usually, like we talked about last which week, which are usually uh, not related to yeah. religion at all, but it's them kind of being like, "Hey, we're still here." Yeah, like the Great Awakening was kind yeah. of a reaction to uh, the Enlightenment, and yeah, this is just a reaction to that other yeah. movement. So yeah. All right. It's interesting. And then, yeah, like, I, I talked about Christian rock a little bit. Um, you know who I blame street preachers? The Romans, because they built all those dang roads. That's right. And if oh. it wasn't for them, we probably wouldn't have street preachers. Mm, we would have trail preachers. If you're listening from outside of Toronto and you've never been to um, Dundas Square, oh, yeah. I'm sure every city has their own no, every, of that, every that place corner does where this. just the street preachers are there. I remember right? when yeah. I was a kid driving through Buffalo, sometimes there was always one guy. Like You would be in the car and you hear him just yelling stuff. Yeah. And he had a big sign. He's like, you gotta believe! Yeah. <laughs> you're like, okay. We had that one guy downtown too who was always like, believe. That, I, people know about that. That's, yeah. He's like an internet meme. Yeah. 
that that's that guy's a lot he scares you too yeah because you walk by and it's just like Bleh! Bleh! <laughs> <laughs> i was downtown with uh, cody and uh our, our roommate and uh this this guy was handing out flyers for a free carnival i think just um a free carnival yeah okay. and he's like you want to come to our carnival some company that was like promoting like for like opening yeah. business or whatever and it's like free carnival free food come on over and I was like, oh, thanks, man, but we're busy today. And he's like, take a flyer. I'm like, no, we're not going to come. And he's like, okay, have a good day, guys. And I'm like, yeah. And then this guy, he's like, said something about Jesus and handed me a flyer. And I was like, I told you, I can't go to the carnival. <laughs> <laughs> he was so confused. That's so funny. <laughs> and you've probably been like, I just, that's not what I was talking about. <laughs> I guess heaven's a carnival. <laughs> um, and you ever, speaking of more street people, not people, but yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Have uh, you been the the Black History Month people? They'll they'll have oh, pamphlets. Yeah. Yeah. They'll give them to you, yeah. and you say, "Oh, thank you." And then they're like, "Can we get a donation for yeah. that?" And if you don't give them a donation, they want it back. Yeah. What the first time that happened to me, I felt guilty, and I gave them like three bucks or something yeah. like that. And I was I was so confused. It was like, "Why are you giving this to me for free?" Yeah. Not well, for like they're they're a scam. That that group. I'm sure it is. Yeah. I'm sure it's not representative of anything at all. Yeah. That's what that group you want to um, you want to ask them. Actually, any of those pe- pe- mm-hmm. people that hand out like a big yep. booklet like that and ask for money, especially because they ask for specifically twenty dollars. Um, really, usually, and what you want to do is just ask for their uh, charity number. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, because they're kind of off, then it's like, off the books. Yeah, because yeah. then because anything like that high, you, you you should get a receipt for. Yeah, um, for taxes. My thing is, if you're going around handing people stuff, don't ask for money after yeah, you hand like it those, to them. Effing Reese's peanut butter cup guys. What? Oh, they they, they ask for by money Union for Station. Oh, they hand you it, and then they're like, they they go to hand it. You grab it, and they're like two dollars. And it's like what? I'm not paying two dollars for that. I'm paying it for a dollar over there. Yeah, like it's for charity. Well, don't do it that way. Then. Yeah, that's a bad way to do it. I remember yeah. when I was living in Kingston, there was a guy, and he he had uh, photocopy sheets of poetry that I guess he wrote, and he would give it to you, and he's like, oh thanks. He's like, all right, can I have a donation for that? I was like. No, and then you just take it back. It's like photocopies are expensive. It's like don't give it to me. First. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. let that be a lesson. If you're gonna street preach, make sure you get the money up front. That's right. Money up front. Um, tell them they're going to hell. You're gonna get more money. That's oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. yeah if I, I mean, that wasn't big in this one. I'm sure they still believed it, but yeah, it was. Mm. That was more. In, yeah. Can't you see you're not making Christianity better? You're just making rock and roll worse. Oh, right. So it's a Christian rock lyric of the week. Uh, Christian rock lyric of the week. What What is it today? Today, mm-hmm. um, I was going to do Larry Norman. Mm-hmm. And then I put it on, and I couldn't uh, stop listening to it. Oh. And Larry Norman was a singer in the... He was part <laughs> of this movement, and... Uh, I was going to make fun of him, and then I couldn't because I loved it too much. he's just so good. He's just so good. So maybe I'll make fun of him in the future, but not okay. today. Um, today, though, um, Jesus Movement, they were called the mm-hmm. Jesus Freaks. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with the song Jesus Freak. Oh, he has a song called Jesus Freak. No, DC Talk has a song called oh, Jesus okay. Freak. Okay. And um, DC Talk, do you, do you know the DC Talk? I th- you down with the DC Talk? D- d- you might have told me about them before. No, yeah. no, I'm not. Okay. Not in that way. <laughs> they were a Christian rock and slash rap group uh, okay. in the 90s. Okay. Um, and Like and Linkin Park? Like Linkin Park. Well, a lot of people say they were like, they kind of uh, influenced that. Limp Biscuit. Limp, yeah. Um, uh, the, uh, le- yeah, I was going to say Led Zeppelin. <laughs> you know, like the Led Zeppelin, the rap rock group. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Yeah. Okay, so um, here here we go. I saw a man with a tat on his big fat belly. It wiggled around like marmalade jelly. It took me a while to catch what it said because it had to match the rhythm of his belly with my head. Jesus saves is what it raved in a typical tattoo green. He stood on a box in the middle of the city and he claimed he had a dream. So this is a story about a fat guy with a Jesus saves tattoo. Yeah. And this guy just starts bobbing his head to this dude's belly jiggling. Yeah, to okay. figure out what he said. All right. And he said oh, he I dream. saw a mall Santa without a shirt on. Wait, is he saying Martin Luther King had a was a big fat guy with a tattoo? <laughs> he could have been. <laughs> I guess so. I didn't know the guy. Uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> There's a lot of good people I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's that's the rock lyric of the week. That. And, what a weird 
way to get into the point of that song. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you talk about a fat guy's belly? Shaking? I don't know because the other the other verse like that because that's one of the rap verses and the, the other rap verse is about John the Baptist. Yeah. Who's um, arguably more of a Jesus freak than a guy with a tattoo, but he could have said something about like the tattoo maybe, but then. Why lead in with, I started dancing to his gut, Jiggly? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, does that really make you think about anything? No, it makes... <laughs> nice? It makes people convert all the time. Okay. Yeah, I think most, I think 90% of Christians yeah. are Christians because at one point they saw a big fat guy. Oh, is that, that what the Crusades was about? That's what the Crusades was about, yeah. yeah a big fat guy's belly with a tattoo. Yeah. Jesus saves on it, right? Huh. All right, so this has been, uh, believe it or not, this has been uh, the Jesus Movement. Um, in the Jesus Movement, they went out and they uh, told people about uh, Jesus on the street, and maybe you could go out and tell people about... That's right. Go out, why don't you go out on the street and uh, hand out some stickers? Yes. Uh, we don't have any yet, but you can go and make your own. Make your own and say, believe it or not, until, say it. Until we start making our own, yeah. then, then we're going to send you a cease and desist letters. Exactly. Yeah. So. And follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. It's all the links below. Subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, leave a review, tell your friends. Tell us. Tell us what you thought. Yeah. Uh, give us a call. Uh, give Damien a call. His number is uh, 64. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. All right. Bye. Work, work, work. Sky Moon. <laughs> <laughs>